we finally have the Honda Civic back from when we are on at MRD. Stay tuned to find out later on in this episode how one lucky subscriber could win our old uni chip that came off this car. And that is the first official start up for me on the new ECU Master Classic. We are going to take the car to the dyno now. We must first get the O2 sensor in the exhaust installed. So at the moment it does not have that sensor in and the car is not tuned. So we are going to drive it to the dyno, get that sensor installed on the exhaust and then from there on we can start dynoing the car. I am super excited for this. Let's go boys. Before we get into the power figures of what this car made on Remyans Dino, I want to take a quick break to tell you guys more about today's sponsor, Manbase. Manbase is an online website where you can purchase high quality sunglasses, watches and men's grooming products. All their sunglasses come standard with UV protection and polarized lenses to reduce glare and protect your eyes. DW2 is my favorite set from their website. Be sure to check out their sleek range of watches as well as their men's grooming kits for all your grooming needs. Use code CCDR100 to save 100 rand off your purchase. Once again, that's CCDR100 for 100 rand off your purchase. Thanks to Manbase for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into it.
problem you are now to button up a couple of things the management is still loose on the floor so they'll just button that up for me and a couple other small things that we need and then from there on we're getting the car back and getting to enjoy it so I'm actually on my way taking it to a Muan's house now I'm going to enjoy the drive I'm gonna put you guys down I'll catch you soon at the dyno when we are noticed that the battery voltage of this car was jumping up and down messing around the ECU we hardwired in a piece of wire just to get a stable voltage out of the battery so we can tune the car on the dyno after this he took the car back to his house to investigate why the voltage was jumping up and down before we take the car from him and do some damage to the ECU. After a couple of days of searching they finally found the problem. There was some wires tapped into the ignition power for the alarm system and another tap for we don't know what. So when we decided to put in a relay for us to get a more constant reading from the battery voltage. Upon Doing all of this, he also noticed that our starter was a bit sluggish, so he also fitted a new starter for us. And this is the main reason why the car took such a long time after the dyno to be handed back to me, because Omyan wanted to make sure that everything was dialed in 100% before he gave the car back to us to drive it. As I showed you guys in the previous video, we also ditched the Dizzy and went with a coil and plug setup. It is hidden under here so you can't really see much apart from the dizzy being taken off i lost two of these nuts so don't mind we'll get the right ones back on there again fourth gear been driving the car on the road for about three days now and I must be honest it's an absolute joy to drive a lot of people were saying that with the standalone management the car will have some hard start or cold start issues and a lot of different reasons as to why you should not go standalone but let me tell you this car cold starts like before if not better I have not picked up one fault ever since I got it back everything is flawlessly I just want to give a massive shout out to Wimyohan from MOD for taking his time and ensuring that everything is 100% dialed in from our janky wiring to taking off our dizzy going coil on plug setup for us and as you all saw the car made 149 horsepower on the wheels which is 111 kilowatts it might not sound like the world's power but remember this car only has an intake and an exhaust on at the moment and the exhaust is quite janky as well we are looking to change that in the near future if anyone is looking for ecu master or dictator or just a tuner or someone to install your stuff for you i would highly recommend using when you from mod his work is top notch and i could not have asked for any better i'll definitely have all of women's details down below in the description box so if any of you want to reach out to him for any help on your cause it does not have to be a honda as you all saw in the previous video women works on all sorts of race cars street cars literally anything that you can think of women works on them I'll link his details down below once again so if any of you want to reach out to him you can just go down below and grab his details from them just drove a few hours south to capture you that one clip of me doing a highway pull down in Mexico and then at last the one you've all been waiting for or a lot of you have been waiting for is the Unichip giveaway I wanted to give away the Unichip to be able to give someone else the opportunity that I was given to get a new management for your vehicle so I want to send out that Unichip to one lucky subscriber to the channel but what you guys need to do to win that Unichip 
is obviously you need to be subscribed to the channel you need to like this video you need to comment on this video and then the one thing that you need to do for me is take the link of this video and share it on your Facebook and then tag a minimum of three friends and encourage them to go and check out this video entries will close Sunday the 8th of August and once you've done that share the post on Facebook I need you to screenshot that and send it to my Instagram which is Etienne underscore CCD once you send that that you show that you shared the video on Facebook that will be your entry into winning this uni chip the winner will be announced in the upcoming video I don't know when exactly competition will close Sunday the 8th so you guys will have Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday you guys will have five days to make sure that you enter to win that uni chip I'll send it out to you free of charge the only thing you need to do is to get it installed into your vehicle and get someone to tune it for you we can ask the winner of this competition if he wants to we can film it for you guys and maybe they can do a before and after dyno run we weren't able to do a before and after run with this car because our dizzy was messing around like i told you earlier so if the winner is up for it we can have him film a video i'll edit the video and i'll upload it to my channel i think i've rambled on enough in this video i'm going to take the car for a drive i can't tell you guys how excited i am to have this back and have it running flawlessly the newfound power you can most definitely feel it is a lot stronger on the road i know for a fact that this car made 112 kilowatts on the uni chip at the coast and now it's making 111 kilowatts at altitude so i'm pretty keen to see if i go to cape town in december if we can get a dyno down there maybe take a few runs down there i'm extremely excited i'm going to take this car for a drive i'll see you in the next one bro peace out and reflect your passion. Yeah.